Let's talk for a moment about the idea of a web application. Um, in the early days of the web, uh, people often produced maybe what would be called shovelware or brochureware. This was taking uh, material that they'd already produced in brochures for printed material and basically just saying, please put this on the web. Um, and it, it, it often has a derogatory, it's often used as a derogatory term now. But it, it harkens back to uh, an era when we talked about web publishing. That is kind of creating a publication and print, basically printing it and putting it on the web. Yes, it might have hyperlinks, although in, in some rare cases early on, people just basically did a huge image of their printed materials. You know, it might have hyperlinks. It might have multiple pages. It might, as in this kind of latter-day version of brochure, where have things like moving images and even something starting to become like an application. But basically, it's static material that's being put out onto the web. Um, and this was the, the vast majority of materials that were on the web in the early days. All you needed was something that could be a web server, that is, produce uh, a, a document and, and, and send it to the, the client um, on the web. Uh, these days, that much of that has been replaced by um, what's considered a web application. Um, even things that seem like they're static are often backed by a content management system, something that is a, an application rather than pure HTML and CSS, for example. Um, a web application is basically a program, and programs have the same structure no matter what. That is, they are systems that take certain inputs, and based on those inputs, um, react. In other words, it's interactive, right? It takes some set of inputs and then uh, comes out with a result based on those inputs. Um, for the web, those inputs could be from other websites, it could be from the weather, it could be from all sorts of things, but in many cases it's the result of a form input. So someone submits a form on the internet, the web server um, includes some kind of scripting or programming structure that can make sense of that input, and then uses um, material from a database in many, many cases to produce a website. So basically, rather than having a set of HTML already ready, already sitting there on the on the web server, um, the scripting engine, the, the programming, creates that HTML on the fly based on a combination of the input from the client and on some set of templates or data found in a database. Even in cases where it seems like it's static, like a newspaper where it really is kind of publishing, often that's what's happening. So, for example, Drupal is a content management system, an open source content management system, and many, WordPress is another content management system to a certain extent. And mostly what this does is it takes an input that says, show me the most recent contents, and then creates uh, that content from data stored in the database. So it's not like um, in the early days of blogging where you had to create a new page for every day of the week and code that in HTML. The program itself is making the HTML. So what that means is that you need to have know something about a programming language. PHP here, the center of it is is a, a language that's used that was used to write Drupal and used to write uh, WordPress and is a very popular open source programming languages language. And then you need to know enough HTML to be able to basically teach the programming language to do it. This is one of the reasons we have to learn HTML by hand is because even if you have programs that can create HTML like Dreamweaver for you, um, it's not very useful because you need to be able to tell the computer how to create the HTML. So in order to be able to do any kind of web programming, to do anything that's a web application, it's useful to be able to know how the HTML is formed so that you can show the computer how to form that HTML. All right, we'll move on in a moment to the basic structure of an application, but that gives you a rough idea of what a web application is.